Hi, the foundation stage. I'm here to do your story again today. Now, I've not brought a book with me today. I'm going to tell you a story. And it's a story I know Apple Class know because I've told Apple Class before and they joined in with me. And Willow Class and Fig Class, you might know it. I'm not sure. Someone else might have done it with you. So my story doesn't have a book. I'm just going to tell it and I'm going to use my hands and my voice. If you know it, you might want to join in with me. If not, you might just want to watch the first time, but you might want to watch again and join in the next time. You might want to join in again another day and you might want to watch it a few times and get good at it. So I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Wiggle. Say hello to Mr. Wiggle. And Mr. Wiggle lives in his house over here. And I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Waggle. Say hello to Mr. Waggle. And Mr. Waggle lives in his house over here. Now, early one morning, Mr. Wiggle woke up. He opened his door, popped outside and closed his door. And he decided to go and visit Mr. Waggle. And he had to go up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, all the way to Mr. Waggle's house. When he got to Mr. Waggle's house, he knocked on the door, but nobody answered. So he called out, Mr. Waggle, Mr. Waggle. And do you think he woke Mr. Waggle up? No, he didn't. Nobody answered. He tried again. Mr. Waggle, Mr. Waggle. Do you think that worked? No, it didn't. So Mr. Wiggle decided to go back home again. He went up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the way, all the way back to his house. When he opened, when he got there, he opened the door, popped inside and closed the door. And then he went to sleep. The next morning, Mr. Waggle woke up and he opened his door, popped outside and closed the door. And he decided he'd like to go and visit his friend, Mr. Wiggle. So he went up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, all the way to Mr. Wiggle's house. When he got there, he knocked on the door. But nobody answered. So he called out, Mr. Wiggle, Mr. Wiggle. Do you think that woke Mr. Wiggle up? No, it didn't. Nobody answered. So he tried again. Mr. Wiggle, Mr. Wiggle. Do you think that worked? No, it didn't. Mr. Wiggle still didn't wake up. So Mr. Waggle had to go home. He went up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, all the way back to his house. When he got there, he opened the door, popped inside and closed the door. And then he went to sleep. The next morning, Mr. Wiggle woke up, he opened his door, popped outside and closed his door. And Mr. Waggle woke up, he opened his door, popped outside and closed his door. And Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle decided to go and visit each other. So they went up the hill, down the hill, up the hill until they bumped into each other at the top of the hill. And there they said hello to each other, they gave each other a hug and they had a conversation because they hadn't seen each other for ages. I came to visit you at your house. No, I came to visit you at your house. I came, I knocked on your door, you didn't answer. No, that was me, I came to your house. You knocked on, I knocked on your door and you didn't answer. Was that the same day? I don't know. Which day did you come? I came yesterday. I came the day before. And they had a jolly good chat and they talked to each other about all the things they'd been doing in their houses and all the things that they wanted to tell each other. And soon they realised it was getting dark and they didn't want to be out for too long. So they said goodbye and they gave each other a goodbye hug and said goodbye. And then they went home. And they went down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, all the way back to their houses. They opened their doors, popped inside, closed the doors and went to sleep. And that was the story of Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.